This is Satya Pradyuman of Cirrus Research. The latest issue of the Global Notepad, centering on Japan, is out. The title, Japan, Japanese Equity Will Be Fueled by Industrials and Consumer. Uh, in this report, we focus on the market, the Japan, Japanese equity market. Part of this is that we've seen a very strong rally in the last 18 months. It's up about 30% or so. This is a dramatic uh, difference from what we've seen for decades with Japanese equities. So the question is, what's going on? So there are a number of things that are, I think, that are occurring here. Part of it is a policy issue to be able to allow these equities that are trading in Japan to be uh, at least selling above book value, which has not been the case historically. Two, the profit cycle seems to be stabilizing. And three, there is this need for anything but China exposure that seems to be really underway still. Japan may be coming around to uh, really becoming one of those beneficiaries. If you look at this exhibit, what we're looking at here is top line growth. And at the heart of this is the idea that the Chinese economy, the profit cycle there continues to decelerate. Whereas the Japanese equity markets, the top line growth is starting to stabilize. In other words, potentially a soft, uh, a soft landing. Importantly to the right, what you also see is that estimates are on the mend for Japan, while we're see what we're seeing in China is that that data continues to deteriorate. Uh, so overall, when we look and we put this together with the Japanese outlook for profits, it does look as if we've had some additional data that shows that they are on the mend. And the estimates have really spiked higher and uh, have started to really become much more supportive of where the share prices are going. In terms of performance, if you drill down into the markets, we've seen some leadership rotations. But what is interesting is that it has not been the sort of similar sort of prof uh, leadership profile we've seen in the States. Here, what we're seeing in the last 12, 6, 12 months or so is uh, the financials. And the energy market, energy sectors are actually uh, some of the strongest that we're witnessing. Um, so overall, though, most of the equity market seems to be stabilizing and recovering. And then finally, looking at valuations, what we're looking for, though, here is multiples to expand in a market that's been depressed for a long time. And so what this represents is a standardized measure of the valuation for each sector with its market in place. And what this is relating is that if this zero boundary represents sort of like average uh, multiples, the purple bullets represents that to some degree, a number of these sectors are now starting to sell above average longer term over the last 20 years or so historical averages. And this is a good thing. The fact that multiples have begun to expand in a world that really we haven't seen this for, for quite a long time. So overall, we think there is much more of a focus on Asia, especially considering the noise and the friction really with China. Um, we think the upshot of this is Japan benefits. And uh, this report delves into it a little bit closer than the last few. With any questions, please feel to reach out to us. Thank you.